Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to automate milking a cow. Uh, now that probably sounds like an odd thing to do, but there are multiple recipes in the game that can require a lot of different milk, especially if you're automating chocolate or any of the more s'more combinations. Um, and the cow in a jar, while it produces infinite milk, is very, very slow. Um, so what we're going to look at today is a much faster way to get a large quantity of milk. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button, and a little bell notification, so that way you know anytime videos or tutorials come out. Okay, so a few things we're going to need for this build. We're going to start with a bucket. That's an easy one. Just three iron ingots. We're going to need an auto clicker, which is seven pieces of polished diorite, one block of redstone, and a dispenser. We're going to need an automated user, just three obsidian, one magma block, two gold ingots, and a dispenser. We're going to need a black hole tank, which is two buckets, machine case, two eye of ender, one ender pearl, and three plastic. And last, I recommend a super sound muffler, which is one note block and four pieces of wool, any color. All right, we're also going to need a cow. Here we have a volunteer for today's experiment. That is Bessie. She's going to help us out. So you'll also need a power source for this. I'm just going to be using a creative battery, but any power source that produces RF will work. So any type of the generators or any type of reactors, all of that stuff is going to work perfectly fine. Let's grab a couple basic components here to get started. All right. The first thing we need is a power source. We'll drop that down, and we'll get some power going. Now, the first block we're going to use after that is our auto clicker. We're going to set that down facing a direction. Then our automated user, we're going to set it beside and back one facing the opposite direction. The auto clicker is going this way. Automated user is going this way. We need, both of those are going to need power here and uh, oops for attractiveness you i would recommend running the power underneath just so you don't have to have these pipes everywhere but for this tutorial this will work just fine that that and that so both of these blocks now have rf power you don't have to change any of the settings in your automated user it's fine on default but in your auto clicker you're going to want to switch it to eight which is one click every tick that's the fastest clicking option that you have Next, we're going to take an item extraction cable, put it on this side, so it's coming out of the auto clicker. We're going to go ahead and we're going to move that all the way up to 64. And on the other side, we're going to do the same thing, but coming out of the user into the clicker, all the way up to 64. Then we're going to take our black hole tank, we're going to set it directly in front of our automated user. Okay? All that stuff pretty much done. Let me get it over there. Next, we're going to need some oak fence. You'll need at least one bucket of milk, one regular bucket, and then our sound muffler. So next we have to put a place for our cow to go, right? So we're going to set that here. A little pen. Just want to have it in any way that makes sure that the cow can't get out. I'm going to stick an extra one up here and up here just to be on the safe side so it doesn't sneak out over the back. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead back over here to our cables. Right. So coming out of our auto clicker, we want to whitelist a bucket of milk. That's what it's going to be pulling out of there. On the other side, we want to blacklist a bucket of milk so it only pulls out empty buckets. All right. Now we need our volunteer. Come here, Bessie. Bessie, real quick. We're going to bring her over here. We're going to set her down inside. She's got a nice little house. Everything is set up <clears throat> at this point. It's ready to go. All we have to do is add an empty bucket. Now I'm going to place this in here, and it's very likely you're going to get loud for just a moment. There we go. If we look at our black hole tank, you see that it's now just drastically milking the cow. The tail is also pretty loud. That's what the sound muffler is for. It's a <clears throat> rather loud process. But this will go on forever. It's going to just continuously milk the cow, and the black hole tank, which holds drastically large amounts of milk, uh, will just continue to fill up. You don't have to do anything else to this process. It's all done. So now that we've got this set, you have an infinite amount of milk being 
created at a very, very fast pace, much quicker than the cow in a jar. And now you can automate chocolate or whatever else you want to do that requires a large amount of milk. All right. Well, that is going to do it for this one. Pretty easy one, but uh, something you might find useful. Um, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put those down in the comments, and I'll do my very best to get back with you as quickly as I possibly can, as well as any recommendations or suggestions you may have for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, and there at the bottom of the homepage is a place you can submit questions, recommendations, or feedback via email. While you're there, you'll also find links to my streaming schedule, all my tutorials and videos, social media accounts, podcast, the ODG store for cool ODG merch, and a lot of other great resources. So I do recommend checking out the site. That is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.